Aaron Macy, time to have a look at the uh, mounting yard report from Saturday and a couple of key runners obviously and we saw, I suppose the, the main one was Exosphere who came out and um, just smashed them and uh, looks just like it. And it, it looked like that in the mounting yard, didn't it? We, we, I know you leaned for press statement, I was pretty keen on Exosphere, but they look the one and two chances, should have finished one and two. They just, yeah. they've got an elevation on the rest of those horses. A big elevation on those horses, I think. They really look the two superior horses. Yep. They look the genuine group horses moving forward that they're going to probably be group by if we see them still race on. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? You know, you, I, was just, I just wrote an article about it for the IVRs. XSV is almost hit a plus 10 lengths above, which is which is right, right elite. And, you know, you think he's going to be a star, but what's he going to do? Have another couple of runs and bye-bye, is it, or whatever? But anyway, as far as the yard, all we can say is what from the yard. XSV still has improvement and probably pressed and press statement still has a little bit as well too. Yeah, he's got improvement. He's he's still quite lean. He's probably going to be a horse that comes out bigger and better next prep. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's furnished a little bit, but still a little bit of furnishing to go with press statement. Yeah, I think there's quite a lot of furnishing. And Exosphere good. is just a machine, just a fantastic type of well, horse. Well, I think he's oh. kind of come back and peaked as a three-year-old. He's yeah. there, he's ready. Absolutely. Um, but as fitness-wise, I'd still say a length or two up his sleeve. Yeah, he can definitely improve fitness-wise. Uh, from that run, Speak Fondly was getting in that that, don't, that zone that's really hard to tell, has she gone over the top or was she super rock hard fit? Uh, you'd never know until they run when they're at that level, so she was super rock hard fit. If anyone can keep them going, Gay, gay can, but um, she was right on the edge on Saturday, isn't she? Yeah, I, I couldn't back her nearly any early markets unless she's dramatic overs for whatever yep. reason, but I'd be waiting to see how she looks because she could quite easily go over the top. In, in saying that, I will restate it though, and Gay, in, with Gay's horses, she's one that can come out and she might have put on 15 kilos next week, but she was on the backup, she was showing, showing signs of that was about, so sure a, about the peak yeah, of Some it. of those fillies just thrive on racing yeah. when they eat, but yeah. she's been one that was fit from the start and she yeah. looks, I don't know, yeah, looks, she's, it does I, look a bit scary. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, the rest of them not really worth mentioning. Well, Shards and Holler, I mean, they're, they're the story, one of the stories out of the race. Holler did, in hindsight, Holler was starting to kick out a bit at times and that, so, you know, we- get a little bit coldish late, didn't Yeah, you? yeah, so you, it sort of did back up what um, Mr. O'Shea was saying about what had happened in the pre-race thing and why there were swabs and that, so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad for what we saw in the yard, but you, now that you know in hindsight, Harry, Harry hindsight, you yeah. say, yeah, oh yeah, okay, I can see that. All right. Um, couple of the key ones of the day and just working through this in no particular order bounding uh was a horse that uh what was this paying a dollar sixty dollar seventy something around that well, there's a dollar seventy to a dollar sixty you walked in and said wait you see this i've walked in and gone holy crap yeah i i, I wouldn't be taking five dollars no i think it would have been would have been almost as price you, you know and, and definitely not comparison to catkins who catkins came out uh, while, I, while I was saying during the week, so just just uh, just finishing on bounding, um, from what Warren Huntley had told us uh, during the week that she had uh, and what he'd seen out in his in his first set from Melbourne, she paraded immaculately first up, looked ideal. And then we uh, then we saw her uh, on Saturday and she was doing so many things wrong in the yard, just looked awful. She just did everything that you don't want to see in a horse. Yep, absolutely. Yes. So yeah, so that was and, and that doesn't mean that she's she's gone for the prep or anything, it's just that she wasn't a happy horse on the day. No, she was definitely not a happy horse on the yeah, day. Yeah, and nothing, and you, I don't know, I don't know why they do that or what it is, but... Well, one thing you always used to be rather against was up and back, and you'd always yep. like the same, and maybe, look, she travelled down, but maybe having the run and travelling back, maybe she can come back as well. Uh, as absolutely, you, you, there could be a million reasons, and it's nothing, it might not anything to do with the preparation there. Um, I remember when Herculean, was it Herculean Prince got beat at about a million to one on it, it, uh, and it came into the yard doing similar things. And uh, I think it was Martin Newman who told me later, he, he was just really unhappy with the horse that was next to him in yeah. the stalls. You know, for whatever reason, he hated that. That got him worked up and he just came out and paraded disgracefully. And I think ran well, fourth, in a, fourth in a field exactly. of four. They are like people. They are highly strong things, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. The winner of that race, Catkins, uh, Chris Waller throughout the week had been saying she's a bit soft. Aaron, I thought, Maybe a half length down on what she would be normally normally parading first up, but no, she looked healthy, but she didn't look anywhere near tuned up or anything like that. But she didn't look much different to what she normally does first no, up. No, rather similar. And she and she had that. She she is if every horse paraded or showed up in the yard like she did, 
it'll be a very easy game because she shows she's you when she when have to look at horses. Yeah, well, oh, but yeah, she sometimes isn't right at the right at the thing. But when she's got that walk and that just free movement, you know, okay, she might not be fully wound up, but you know that she's feeling good in herself and she's going to run to, as fast as she possibly can with that condition. Yeah, she looked very relaxed. She's yeah, professional. And Absolutely. Great at that one. Absolutely. Um, Slightly probably, sweep was one there as well. What do you got to say about it? I thought it looked right, it looked healthy, had good improvement, hit line, it wasn't ever going to be really suited in a race like that, stepping out to further. I'd, I'd be quite happy to be on her in a right race over a slightly further. Alright, we'll just go back to ordering him. Silver Balls, a horse we've spoken about a bit, um, did the job. Uh, he's yeah. improved again, he's still got improvement to go again. It wasn't, wasn't overly impressive or anything, <coughs> no, but he's he did his job. He, he still doesn't look like he's wound up yet, he's not ready to... I think probably next start of the start after. But I reckon even one more run and then he will be peaking. Um, a couple to talk about in that race. Morris, typical David Van Dyke horse, parades awfully, as it has all its life. Yeah, a lot of his horses seem to sweat up and can, can get like they. But when they first walk in, a lot of them parade nice and then they just seem to unwind. And yeah. Go. The Cleric Honest horses can do the same thing too. But yeah, so I mean, I, I don't like seeing that because I still think you're losing lengths. But with Morris, it's. And I think with a lot of looking at horses is how they look from run to run to run. And that's yeah. been Morris every run. So it's not as yeah, if you, can, you can't penalise him back for him, but maybe one day he'll come out and parade well and he can find three lengths. Yeah. Um, Foundry, nice type, wasn't it? He's a really nice type. Yep. I was just surprised. He looks well. I, they always present their horses in yeah. great order and nothing is different there. King Kinshasa. First time I'd seen it. It's a, a it's pretty impressive that, type. Yeah, it's one that Nick Ashman's been quite enthused with. It, it won at Hawkesbury, came to the race. Look, I wouldn't say it's overly enthused with from. It's from was good. It looks a nice type. It had good improvement in it. And I think it will be getting... It'll improve a good two or three lengths on its next run, mm -hmm. fitness-wise. All right, we don't need to talk about the fillies unless you do want to talk about anything out of something secrets rate at all. Or I thought La, La Carla might have been looking like it, was, it probably we won't see it again for a while, but it was looking like it was, it had That's enough. just a shape. Look, she actually looked better than she was to start before when she, and mm. when she won. Fair so enough. she's one that's actually improving with each race, looks-wise. But she's very immature, and I think she'll be a, she'll actually be quite a nice horse in six to twelve months' time. The fourth race was an interesting parade race. Good project, really looked tuned up for a Walla horse first up. Yeah, looked uh, Glenn, tuned Glenn, up Glenn with good on top. improvement. As yeah, well. with improvement, but, but a lot, for a Walla horse, forward enough to win. Yeah. Yep. Keep going. You want to yeah. Else? No. I look. I one thing with Wallace horses, I would be careful with though. The ones that seem to race really well first up seem to sometimes have a little bit of mm. a flat run second up, or I don't know if he eases off on them then and, and mm. then sets them for fourth up. But no, he looked great and looks like he's in for a good prep also. Ins and outs, same as last start, he's at his peak, he can't improve anything. I couldn't see him improving anything over the same trip. He could possibly maybe go to 1400. Probably, he probably almost needs to now, doesn't I he? I think he might need to, yeah. yeah. And Music Magnate, um, it, it was awful as well, like it was agitated, it wasn't happy. Uh, he he, he's been, always been one that's been a little bit mental and it's something Yeah, that, uh, but he was more mental than more normal on Saturday. Yeah, he, he was a little bit more mental, I, I would like to. But there's a few of those horses on Saturday, I don't know if this is the first warmer Saturday I think it, it could that we well had. Be. Could because be. I know Bjorn, well, we saw it and Bjorn hosed him before mm. he came out. So a few of them were getting a little bit hot and stirred up, so it'd be interesting to see how he and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it's an inter it is an interesting point and you often do see that. It's the first time that they... The first time they feel real heat, because it was quite warm yeah. at Roseland on Saturday, it's like, what the hell's this? And that makes them it would have been get warm, and that horse, that the, every lap it did was getting more and more agitated, more and more tight, that I really am an unhappy horse. And one, one thing I can say is a positive for him, though, he, as soon as he got onto the racetrack, he relaxed, yeah. which, which was a good sign. So. Yeah, but I, I'm still thinking he lost a, lost a lot there, and yeah, sultry feeling it improved, and pretty unlucky in the run. She looks good. I think she goes to the Tibby on Friday. Back to Mares. Back yep. to Mares, and we'll take a stack of beating. Absolutely. Uh, we mentioned that race, Catkins. We mentioned Exosphere. Winx, or Winx as we call him on the punt, or call her on the punter show. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, well, she was a um, horse I thought could be a moral in that race, but I thought they might make a mistake with the price. They didn't. They found it. Didn't Kudos they? Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Well, when you thought they were making and well found. And you, 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 when you thought they were making a mistake, it was about what four dollars eighty, and it's just been three dollars sixty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was hoping they'd put up six or seven dollars, but no. Uh, two, in, two in, to in saying that, pretty forward. Um, I think she goes straight in the Epsom, isn't it? So no, so no surprise to see her 
Yeah, not I think far one thing that one thing that I think Chris said was she's probably only going to have three runs during the spring, mm. three to four max, and then come back again for the autumn, and then he might switch out over more of a trip. It's always been a miler to me, maybe mm. two thousand max. So I think he's going to keep her at those trips. She's flying. Ninth Legion Strawberry Boy, as they usually are first up. Miss Strawberry Sa Boy can sometimes be a little bit more tuned up than he than he was. I thought he was probably a little bit more soft than usual. Okay, no, I didn't think there was much in it. Messine had, had improved. It's no good. Uh, Ammon Paul yeah, looked. He needs to go for a spell. Ammon Paul looked well, but just ran poorly too, didn't he? She ran up to a trial, so yeah, I did say I was going to have to like, this game. Yeah, you liked the first trial, and she just seems like Tape she's gone. On. There's a couple of. I'm not sure what's going on in the Waterhouse game, but you've obviously got like something went with Vancouver. Ammon Paul doesn't seem to be going a best, and English went a, a miss as well. So there's a couple of horses that aren't at their best. Todd, go away. <laughs> Sorry, Todd, I just brushed you. Uh, and in the last, uh, to wrap it up, Gods in Him looked in outstanding order uh, with improvement, but um, beat the Hawks first, but uh, only beat it rather unimpressively. Yeah, he was, he was beat before and after the post, but got there on the line. Yeah. Tommy got everything out of him, and yeah, he looked well, and I think he will uh, definitely come back with improvement. I think the other one to mention in the race was Nancy. She's, like, she's obviously not an impressive type. No, it's an awful type. Um, Just a little little thing. I think she's a wet, little wet tracker with not, not much to offer. No, I'm not 100% sold on that decision. I'd like to see her in one more race, give her one more chance. But uh, she could be one that needs a little bit of time as well. Oh, I'm sure she's... That's, the only, that's her only hope, is time. Yeah, she definitely needs to grow. It's sort of like that true. time that you need once you've had a bender and you're trying to just think, the only thing in my favour is time. But then the only thing could be like a sharp razor blade. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I mean, everyone's been there on a Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, razor blades away. Uh, the good news is, Aaron, is these, as Glenn mentioned on the Punish Show, these horses are parading, racing like they're parading. And when they're doing that, we've got a great edge with a lot of the stuff that we're doing. So it's, uh, yeah, not only just uh, for the day, but also going forward. And it's able to pinpoint it. And hopefully, we can um, give you a bit of a guide through these sort of things to see how these. Uh, the main key runners are going from what we've seen in the yard. Well, we should get a good gauge. Like so Kermadec should be a good example because he's been one that has looked quite big and he does look like he's getting very close to beat. Yeah, so I, interesting to see how he parades Saturday. Uh, absolutely. Be hard to beat. I'd imagine it would be go time on Saturday, wouldn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Good luck. Thanks for viewing. See you soon. See you soon.